Hey, how's it going? This is Real Madrid, and the purpose of this video is to review a Web Standards Project website that we created a few classes ago. So let me show you that right quick. Go into my Firefox. Now, what this, well, what I did here is is a redesign for this company's website, and what they do is they customize these water fountains made out of stone, and one of their main thing is that they they sell good rolling sphere fountains that's their their niche so about this website what I want to do is over here on the main menu I want users to when they roll over on the fountain sections I want a, a menu to a sub menu to pop up underneath here with the categories now let me let me let me go in here right quick I'm gonna show you the these are the four sections of designs that they do so I want that to pop out over here I'm gonna do it on on my home page so now let's go into our our code editor in this case I'm using coda now what I've done here is I already prepared the uh, the menu that I want to I want to show so you can see we got the main sections glow fountains self-contained pool fountains and sport designs and you see the little transition effect on the on the icons that I I created. All this is done using CSS, and I have my CSS code here. So what I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm just gonna go here. This is the the HTML file, and I already I already have the section for the the sub menu. So I'm just gonna copy this and go into my my fountains let me go to to my main navigation look for the fountain link and put it in here in between the the link here and I'm just gonna paste it in there oops I don't like the way this looks and just organize it okay let me see what it looks like. Let me save this. See what it looks like. Okay, now I just gotta add the, the CSS to it. So in here, let me just now have on my CSS file I have my my resetter. But I have the custom CSS code for that for that specific section for the sub menu. So I'm gonna copy this, go back to my my home page, and I have the the CSS file for the home page here. After my nav, where I where I design my my navigation and my hover effects, I'm just gonna paste that that code in there, so it can stay with the with the navigation. I'm gonna save this, and as you can see. I have it right underneath the the fountains link here, and then users can can select their desired section. Okay, but for now, what I'm gonna do is make my whole sub menu invisible. So I'll just put display display none. That turns that's gonna disappear the whole thing. Okay, now let's go to my to the Firefox. I'm gonna reload this, and as you can see, nothing changed. But I did added some HTML and CSS to it. So I want to turn on my Firebug. I have a I have a shortcut up here on my toolbar, or you could just simply either click it or just right click like right here, right click and inspect with Firebug, and it'll pop up in the bottom. Um, let's see. Here's my my links, my link tags. Here's my my sub menu. Okay, this one. What I'm gonna do is, you can either see this piece of. This is where it says display none. You can either disable it, and that'll pop up, and you can see the the functionality of it. 
or you can okay have it selected you can right click edit element style and then display block so I can I can show the the section the main the sub navigation and that's how you use your firebug you can turn it off this is a good a good tool if you wanna if you wanna change make some previews on your code without actually saving it this is really good that's what I use a lot and this is gonna help for when whenever you're doing your JavaScript I want I want this to pop up from from top to bottom and I'm gonna animate it using JavaScript but that's gonna be on the next course all right, I hope this helped. Thank you.